Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we are going to make an IoT based smart plant watering system using the ESP32 and Blink IoT. During the video, I have shared the circuit source code and I have made a complete circuit on zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. So after watching it, you can easily make this project. But before going to the details, let me show you how this project works. Here you can see I have already connected this circuit with the deep irrigation system. This is the solenoid valve connected with the deep irrigation system pipeline and this is the capacitive moisture sensor. Currently the moisture level is 98%. You can also monitor it on the OLED and this is the temperature and humidity reading. Right now it is in auto mode and the blink is connected. So let me remove the capacitive moisture sensor from this pot. You can see the moisture level drop, water starts automatically. Now let me place the capacitive moisture sensor inside the pot again. You can see the moisture level increased, the solenoid stops and also the water stops automatically. Now we will go to the manual mode. So I will tap on it. Currently it is in manual mode. You can see this LED turn off and also it is showing M in the OLED. In manual mode, I have to turn on and off the pump or solenoid valve manually. So let me press this button to turn on the water. You can see this green LED turn on and the water started. Let me turn it off. You can see the water stops. And to go to auto mode, again I have to tap this button. But this time I will tap this button, this push button to go to auto mode. You can see right now it is in auto mode yellow LED turns on during the video I have shared all the details so you can easily make it so let's get started for this project I have used the Altium PCB designer software to draw the circuit then design the PCB Altium is the most trusted PCB designer software by all the big electronic companies with Altium you can easily search any electronics components compare the data sheet and it has lot of useful features which will save you a lot of time while routing any complex PCBs. With LTM 365, you can easily share the PCB design to your teammates. They will receive a mail with a link where they can open that complete project using a browser and comment their review and correction in that project itself. So it is also a very useful feature. I will highly recommend you to download the free trial version of the Altium PCB designer software from description and use it to design professional PCBs. These are the required components for this project. To control the water, you can either use a 12 volt solenoid valve or 12 volt DC pump. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In the circuit, you have to give the 12 volt DC supply. Then for the ESP32, we are giving the 5 volt from the 7805 voltage regulator. And I have used 3.3 volt for the capacitive moisture sensor and the OLED. And as I said, you can either use 12 volt DC pump or 12 volt solenoid valve as per your requirement. Now to make the circuit compact, I have designed a PCB for this project. You can download the GABA file from the video description. But in this video, we are going to make this complete circuit on a zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. Now on this layout, I have also mentioned the grid which will help you to make the circuit on the zero PCB. And again, you can download this PCB layout from the video description and print it on an A4 page. Now in this manner, I have to match the grid on the layout with the hole on the zero PCB. Our PCB is ready. Now we have to place all the components on this zero PCB as per the PCB layout. After that, we have to solder and connect all the components as per the circuit. And as you can see, I can easily solder and connect the component with the help of the bottom PCB layout. Our PCB is ready. Now first I will connect the ESP32, then I will connect the OLED, then DHT11 sensor. Now I will connect this capacitive moisture sensor. You can refer this circuit. Now I will connect the ESP32 with my laptop to upload the code. Before programming the ESP32, we have to configure the Blink Cloud. Now first we will create a template. So let me go to template, click on new template. 
give a name to this template then hardware will be sp32 connection type will be wi-fi i will click on done after that i will go to data stream then click on new data stream select virtual pin for the first data stream i will give the name moisture it will measure the moisture value in percentage then i will select the v1 pin data type will be integer and in the unit i will select percentage and minimum value will be zero maximum value will be 100 now click on create again i will click on new data stream and select the virtual pin here i will give the name temperature in the pin i will select v2 again data type will be integer and unit will be degree celsius and here i have defined the minimum value as zero and maximum value as 50 degree celsius click on create in a similar way i will create a data stream for the humidity here i will select the virtual pin v3 unit will be percentage and maximum value will be 100 then in the next data stream i will give the name mode with this we will change the mode in the virtual pin i will select v4 data type will be integer and minimum value will be 0 maximum value will be 1 and i will select the default value as 1 now click on create then i will create the last data stream with this we will control the water using pump or solenoid valve so here i will give the name water and i will select the v5 pin and again the minimum value will be 0 maximum value will be 1 then i will click on create now i will go to web dashboard and here i will first drag and drop to switch widget then drag and drop one gauge widget then for temperature and humidity reading i will drag and drop two level widget now i will go to the setting of the first switch widget and here i will select the data stream mode in a similar way i will select the water data stream for the next switch now i'll go to setting of the gauge widget and here i will select the moisture then for the level widget i will select the temperature and humidity so our template is ready now i will click on save then we have to add a device so i will go to my device just click on it then i will click on new device select from template then i have to select the template esp32 plant monitor is our template name you can also change the device name i am keeping as it is now click on create so we got all the required details to program the esp32 if i go to device info here you can see all the required details these are the source code for this project you can download these codes from our website iotcircuitup.com just visit the article you can find a link in the description then you can download the codes from these buttons now as you are displaying the moisture value in percentage so we have to get the minimum and maximum value from the sensor before going to the main sketch first you have to upload this code to esp32 to get the minimum and maximum value for the sensor here you can see the code is very simple it will just print the value from the moisture sensor so first let me upload this code after uploading the code i will open the serial monitor and here i have to select the broad rate 115200 now the sensor is dry and we are getting the maximum value now i will dip that sensor inside the water we are getting the minimum value for the sensor now save these two value now this is our main sketch let me open this sketch now in this code i have used a 2.0.5 version of the esp32 and these are the required libraries and the related version now first we have to update the blink details so i will just go to blink account and under the my device you will get all these details just click here to copy this and here i will paste it after that here i have mentioned the wi-fi name and the wi-fi password then you have to update the minimum and maximum value for the moisture sensor so when the soil is wet this will be the minimum value and when the soil is dry this will be the maximum value for the sensor then we will convert these two value in the percentage and display it in oled after that you have to define the ideal moisture range you want in your soil so here i have defined 20 percent as the lowest and 80 percent as the highest so if the circuit is in auto mode it will try to maintain the moisture between 20 to 80 percent so whenever the moisture become lower than 20 percent it will start the pump 
and whenever the moisture become greater than 80 percent it will turn off the pump so if you want you can also define these two value so if you refer the same circuit after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to esp32 so i will go to tools in the board i have selected do it esp32 dev kit v1 then i have selected the proper port now hit the upload button and if you go through the code you can easily understand still if you face any issue you can always let me know in the comment section now i will quickly configure the mobile dashboard here you can see this blue led is glowing which indicates the esp32 is connected with the blink server so let me open the blink iot app now i will tap on the device name then i will tap on this icon to go to setting mode and from here i will add one gauge widget where we will display the moisture then i will add two level value widget to display the temperature and humidity reading let me place the widgets properly now again i will add two button widget to change the mode and control the pump now we have to link the data streams with this widget so i will tap on gauge widget then i will select the data stream moisture with v1 virtual pin then i will tap on the first level widget and here i will display the temperature reading so let me select the temperature and if you want you can also change the front size from here then i will tap on the second level widget and here i will select humidity and again i will increase the font size then i will tap on the button widget here i will select the mode switch and in the data stream i will select mode then i will tap on the last button widget again the mode will be switch and then select water data stream with v5 virtual pin now i will exit from the edit mode and our mobile dashboard is ready now please refer to the circuit to connect the 12 volt dc supply pump or solenoid valve and dc buzzer with the pcb i have connected all the components as per the circuit now let me give the 12 volt supply by default the circuit is in auto mode so this yellow led turns on and as the moisture level is low so the pump or dc solenoid automatically turns on you can see it in green led now if i dip this sensor inside the water as the circuit is in auto mode you can see the solenoid automatically turn off now if i remove the sensor from the water the solenoid automatically turn on now i can also go to manual mode from this blink app right now it is in manual mode in manual mode i can use this button to turn it on and off now to go to auto mode i just have to tap this button so this is a very useful project and in upcoming videos i will add more features to the circuit so please do subscribe for that and if you find this video helpful then please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day